So far, we've met two different forms for the equation of a line in 3D. We've met the Cartesian form, x take away a1 over b1 equals y take away a2 over b2 equals z take away a3 over b3. And of course, there was subtly different forms if uh, b1, b2 or b3 was 0. And we've also had the vector equation for a line, r equals a plus lambda b. And visually, how that worked was if we had the origin here, then a, the vector a, gets you onto the line. So it hops you onto the line. OK. Now, once you're on the line, you want to go um, in multiples along the line um, in order to get to anywhere else. So you needed a direction to point in, which is b. Lambda is how many of b that you want in order to move along the line to get to where you need. So we can say that a general point on the line, let's say, let's place it here for the time being, will have position vector r, which you remember is x, y, z. Now, if you want to get from this point to this point, then we can work out that vector, because to get from this point to this point, I can go minus a plus r, which is the same as r minus a. Now, what we know is that b is a vector that is parallel to the line. So, therefore, the vector product of r minus a and the vector b must be equal to 0. OK? Must be equal to 0 because they are parallel to one another. And so this is the vector product form of a line of three dimensions, where A is a point on the line and B is a vector that is parallel to the line. Now, what we've seen is that we do have the fact that the vector product is distributive and we can write that as R cross with B take away a cross with b is equal to 0. And then you can rearrange it to write it in this form. So it can be written in this form as well. But this is probably the most common that we see. And so that is the one that you need to kind of keep an eye out for.